Hey guys, I figured I'd just do a little update right quick. Hadn't done one in a while. Um, a little bit's been going on, not too much. Um, and I'm still yet using my Bachman controller, and the 6005 is running on DC, DCC. And the, uh, the good old IC right there, 9463, is running on DC all at the same time. You can tell by the big glow light bulb. But anyway, just a little update here. I haven't done one in a while. Um, I got the Samtrack car, the lounge cafe. That'll be going over on the other side of the layout for the dining area. I've got both of the... Uh, I decided to put the diesel houses end to end. And uh, let me go over there and you'll be able to see inside of them. Put a piece of test track in there. Got some SD40-2s in there, parked. And uh, I'm kind of at a standstill because I can't do anything yet until I get my LEDs in. And uh, what would be happening, see that comes off. And on the bottom will be uh, LED strips to light it at the bottom. And stuff like that. But I guess about the biggest change in the layout so far is I've got my other siding in on the side. If you can see right here. So I got both my sidings. And on this siding right here, this will what will lead to the transfer table that go that the transfer table and extension pit that's gonna span over here to feed the uh, car shops and the diesel house. And um, it's uh they're both working great. I've got a uh, Santa Fe unit parked in this siding right here and part of another just parked. And uh, over here will be another turnout and I got I picked this up real cheap just Atlas to get a position to see how stuff's gonna look and stuff like that. But um another angle here coming down the line. I think I better have trains running, huh? <laughs> but, uh, not really too much has been going on. Other than that, just been keeping myself busy. Pick up this stuff here and there. And uh, the next big thing is the table additions. They will be coming hopefully in the next week. As you see across the, this is the, this is down here in the, the lower level of our house, and that's I think our guest bed for people can sleep in. But anyway, there'll be two more five by eight foot tables, another one, and then another one, and then there'll be another eight foot table over there. So we kind of make like a big L kind of shape. I'm trying to think of anything else. I guess I can show you guys what I picked up at the train store. But, uh, I think we'll be happy. I gotta put this side because originally these are gonna be side by side. I said well, I'm not gonna need that until I put these windows out, so I gotta put this back in. But uh you see what I put it up, but it's gonna get more piece of styrene and uh seam that up. Shouldn't be too hard. But uh I think I'm gonna like it end to end. And stuff like that. But uh and you saw that in the other video. Love that engine. But, um, all kind of good possibility stuff you can do just already just with this other side and, and this back end before I put the transfer table in, you know, until we get it all in and stuff. Can uh, park some cars and change some cars around and stuff like that. But, um, you can see it. It's a pretty big side. I'm going to hold probably about, I think it's about 15, 16 cars, maybe a little bit more when it's all said and done. Show you guys what I picked up the train store. Got me a high cube, fifty footer, 
I'm going to burn this right there from the mountain. More metal wheels. Micro set, micro saw. That's a midget back point. So yeah, I'm going to start trying to uh, do some weathering on some of the engines and stuff. I saw some really neat videos and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, just want to do a quick update. And uh, thanks for watching. And hopefully, on the next update, you will see more tables added. <laughs> and see uh, this thing coming in together. Now, the yard's not going to be like this. That's just stuff here so I can get some of the cars off the uh, the foam and stuff. But I'll try and get a good overhead view right here if I can get it. Alright guys, that's about it. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I'll uh, take it easy. Later.